Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I hope your Sunday or whatever day that you're watching this is good. Um, I have started my project, and I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go. I have this idea, um, and I want it to be real, like, loose and ethereal and all that kind of, just almost like watercolor, but not. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Um, before I dive in here and tell you what I've done and explain some things, a um, couple of things. Um, so when you see this video, um, Art Bundle for Good, you'll have uh, two more days left to sign up if you're interested in that. Um, and then also starting today, um, I will be having a sale on all of my winter stencils. It's in the winter stencil category in the shop. Um, so um, all of my trees and holiday stuff and all that kind of stuff, all those stencils will be on sale for 15% off. Um, and I'll have the coupon code down below the video as well as in the subscriber email and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, I, I'm starting it a little bit early and I hate to do that sometimes because I feel like I feel like Thanksgiving or the fall air time kind of gets overlooked and we're headed right into Christmas or in the holiday season. Um, but with the way that um, the shipping has been and the post office is so inconsistent, I wanted to make sure that you could get your stencils in time for the projects that you want to create. Maybe you're creating gifts and stuff like that. So anyway, that's why I'm starting early. Um, I, str I wasn't sure and I struggled with it for just a bit. And then I'm like, nah, I better, I better. And then so this next week after Sunday, I'll be doing some fun like winter um, holiday Christmas. Um, you know what? I know we all celebrate it different. Um, but I'll be doing some fun projects throughout the week, just showing off some of the stencils and what you can do with them. And it's always fun to just kind of play. So um, I wanted to let you know that. And then I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. I'll have most of all of the information, all the supplies and everything that I'm using will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. Okay, so let's talk about this and see what we've done so far. Okay, so I'm working on a 14 by 11 or 11 by 14 if you turn it this way. 14 by 11 uh, wood panel. And I've just put down some um, book pages that um, actually will be available in the subscriber library. I'm in the process of redoing the subscriber library. It's taking a little longer than I thought, but um, hopefully I'll have a newly updated subscri subscriber library within the next month. Um, but these will be there so you can download them for free um, because they're like from a kid children's book um, that talks about, anyway, they're from a children's book and they're so fun. So anyway, Okay, focus, Sean. So I put my papers down <laughs> with a uh, Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium. And um, these are all kind of those holiday papers, music sheets, and different things like that that'll be available to you. Then I came back and I just did a kind of a wash of color over the background with, and I'm using my acrylic gouache, and I used Prism Violet and this um, bright aqua green. I've got a little bit of black, um, <clears throat> matte black, to just kind of tone things down and change the value of them a little bit. And I just kind of put that down and then I made sure to kind of leave this area for the moon and I'll highlight that a little bit later. Um, then I came back and I put some, some stars and snowflakes and that kind of thing with the um, snowflake and stars stencil. And then I've come back right now at this point and put down just the first layer of trees. And I want it to be really muted and really um, blurry is what I, and that's why I sprayed it with water. 
all of this is very, very um, kind of wet, except for the um, snowflakes. And I still have more layers to go, so that'll probably get pushed back a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to do the exact same thing and just kind of layer up with um, all of my tree stencils. So I've got every single tree stencil that I have um, out and I'll be using pretty much all of them. I used quite a few of them already in this layer and I'm just going to keep layering and layering and layering and bringing them down. Some will be bigger and some will be more clear as because they'll be the focal point. And then I'll put some um, probably texture paste down here um, with some of the last trees. That's what I am envisioning anyway. So um, that is where I'm at so far. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty simple and straightforward project, I'm hoping. Um, so um, I can't wait to finish it. But before I do that, I just want to talk to you real quick. So um, as I, it's been a couple of days actually since I've done this this part of this project and it's just been sitting here on my table. We got some really um, tough news, family news this week. And um, I'm still, I'm not ready to really kind of talk about it in in detail yet, even if I would, but um, I was just trying to kind of calm my mind with things. And um, I thought, and the, the the thing is, is that, so this piece I've already in my head before any news came from family, um, I was going to title it Peace because I wanted it to be soft and soothing and like you could be in the, you know how sometimes when it's super quiet or right before it snows or after it snows, it's just silent. It's like the, the most peaceful time. And so I was going to um, title this Peace already. But in the last couple of days, as I have been kind of processing, um, I of course journaled it out because everything goes here. Um, it's just, you know, brain dump and um, it helps, helps me process. But I wrote, um, finding peace doesn't mean I'm not feeling everything. Sometimes I think we think peace means that, oh, all is good. And that's, that's not true. It's just not, it's not true for me anyway. Um, so finding peace doesn't mean I'm not feeling everything or that I'm not in pain. I will walk through each part of this knowing that the light will come again. That joy will rise up again within me. That to me is peace. Knowing that I'll survive this one step at a time. Peace is a knowing a knowing that I'll make it through. And I know from so many of you um, what you guys are going through. And as we head into the holiday season, sometimes it can be super, super tough. And, um, and even if it's not tough, sometimes we have circumstances like I'm having right now that will cause things to just be hard through the holidays. Um, and I want you to know that you can have peace and still feel it all and still be in it and still heal and grow and hurt and all of the things that go into whatever you might be going through and still have peace because you know you're going to make it. You're going to make it through this. We don't have a time frame of what that looks like. And each time something happens in our lives, it's different. Our, our time of healing is different and our time back to joy is different, but we can still have this underlying peace that we're going to make it. And um, I want that for you today. I want that for me today. And I want that for you as we journey through 
the holiday season uh, with all its joys and fun. There's also hardships and memories and different things like that that we all have experienced. And I just want to remind you that you too can have peace, small amounts maybe sometimes, but that you will make it through whatever you're going through, one step at a time. Maybe it's one step at a time and therapy. Maybe it's one step at a time and your medication. Maybe it's one step at a time with a friend. Whatever it looks like, you will make it through. We will make it through. All right, my loves, I am working on my peace, my peace and my peace. So um, I hope your Sunday is awesome. It's restful. It's peaceful. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.
Thank you.